Okay folks, uh, apologies for yesterday's video, uh, I posted about the, uh, the single shot, shot tray for the Falcon, there was a couple of times when, uh, although the sand was there, the image was not there, I don't know what happened in, in that, uh, something to do with the rendering side of it, uh, but uh, I'll make sure it don't happen again. Uh, what I've got today, <coughs> I've got two more items that I ordered off of uh, Stuart Wardby uh, from SMW Engineering uh, and as you probably realise it was 3D printing for air guns. Uh, on my first couple of videos you saw the single shot tray. Well since then <coughs> I've got a spare magazine for the Webby Lightweight. Uh, that's been done in 3D. When you compare the two together there's not a great deal of difference between the two. Uh, <clears throat> and I've also got a barrel and cylinder band for the uh, Air Arms S200 that I've got. Now the particular model I've got is the Mark 1 version, the first one that came out. It's got a two uh, part stock on it. And on the Mark 1, there was no barrel band on the actual stock. So, uh, <clears throat> I thought I'd get one for the, uh, the Mark 1, but this one includes Picatinny rails on both sides and underneath so you can put a torch or laser on or whatever. And all it does is basically slides over the barrel and over the uh, cylinder. You can position it wherever you like really on that bit, so there's plenty of room there. Uh, <clears throat> I've actually got a a quick fill uh, adapter on that one. It's not like your average one, so it's got a gauge on the end because I did regulate this one. And when you do regulate the S200s, you need to put, make sure you've got a gauge on the front because you can't fill at the back. Uh, this one's got the gauge coming directly up, so it gives you plenty of room. What I did have to do to get the actual uh, clamp on was take the silencer off. And I don't know if I've got that with me here. Yeah. So that's the silencer that comes with the air arms. And I can't understand why, I don't, I don't know if it's changed any, probably not, but they use grub screws to fit the silencers on. Why on earth can't they put threaded screws on it to accept half inch of enough thread? But that's the way you do it on these. Plenty of room there. Uh, Ultros do a, a lightweight cylinder that's longer than the standard, which comes out to about here, so it gives you more shots. Uh, that's fine if you've got an internal regulator on, uh, but if you fit an external regulator, that's going to add three inches to it anyway. So if you put an external reg on, it's going to bring it out to about there. So in that case, you'd probably have to uh, do something different with the silence on there, I don't know. But that's something I'll come to if I get one of those. Uh, but for today, I just wanted to show you the actual <coughs> barrel band and cylinder adapter ring which I've got that was I think 16 pounds just over 16 pounds for that and the actual magazine was less than 10 pounds something like 995 so what I'm going to do now I know that works that's a simple fix I'm going to find out if this cycles because Stuart was uh, honest enough to say that they don't always uh, rotate round depending on the rifle. Uh, it not actually got the Webley Lightweight on the list of rifles but I know this is a Webley Lightweight that was produced by the Axis and Company of Frederick Axis and who did the, did the FX2000 uh, and these magazines you'll also find will fit most of the other FX rifles bar a few of them. So if you've got a, a, a Logan Axis, Webley Axis, Webley Lightweight or any of the FX range these magazines will fit. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just put some an eight, eight shot uh, round of shot through the rifle, and we'll see how it's uh, how it's performing. So that'll be the next test. Uh, when I've done it here, yeah, the next time you'll see it'll be on the range testing on a on a live range. So we're, we'll, first off, we'll see how it's cycling. Okay, so there's the uh, close up of the magazine. And I'll compare that with the original magazine. 
The original on the right, that's made out of a, a metal or alloy. This one's made out of a 3D print, principal plastic. So that's the back end of it. The front end, you can tell it's because it's more concaved on that bit. Uh, but the hole in the middle, that's for the uh, actual uh, bolt that, that to locates the actual magazine in place. Uh, so I'll put this in the rifle and we'll get eight shots fired. So rifle is cocked. <clears throat> That's the bolt up there that locates the magazine. I will put a clean card up so we can actually see the uh, the eight shots going through. I have this piece of paper. Okay then, shot one. Now I found this with a normal magazine. If the bolt don't go forward, you roll it down till it clicks, then you know it's in place. So the first shot's come out. Second shot. Third shot. Fourth shot. Fifth shot, six, no, let me just see, that's one in it still I think, I can actually see it, so I think it might have skipped a couple, but on the whole that's not too bad, there's two shots in the magazine, I'm not too uh, worried about that. Uh, well, I'll do, I'll fire another eight shots and we'll see if it's consistent or not. But he did say it does sometimes slip. Could be down to the materials, but uh, the way it's designed, it's very much similar to the original. It's just missed two out of the uh, eight there. <coughs> okay, I'll do another magazine. Uh, Pellets I've been using were the uh, RSW uh, Superfields. We've got two of them in, but the others in it now are the Acapels. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. So they've all cycled through that time. So I'm quite happy with that. <coughs> I'll probably wear in as well. But that is the 3D printed uh, Webby Lightweight or FX2000 or Logan Axer. 8 shot 2 2 magazine. Now, Stuart does do these in 177 as well as 2 2. Uh, if you want to contact him, you can locate him on a website. Uh, I think it's smwengineering.org or something like that. But that's Stuart Wardby. So, thanks for watching. As I say, the next time you see it, it will be in the field test. <coughs>